Hello everybody! Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today I would like to talk a little bit about a couple things. One of those things is you guys. Another one of those things is this JDM server that I launched. And another little thing is a personal story. Um, I'll share that near the ending of this video. Uh, just a little personal story about my life and uh, you know how I am as a person and why I like to do all this for you guys. First things first, I'd like to thank everybody watching this video, everybody who's in my Discord community, anybody that's played in these servers or has been a part of this growth. For me, I am super stoked. I have a thousand subscribers now on YouTube. That is thanks to all of you guys. Our Discord community is going 3,300 strong, and we haven't had any major issues that we've had to deal with, other than just a couple normal bans for spam and stuff like that. So a huge thank you to everybody in the community. It's been very successful, not financially, because that's not what this is about at all. all right? I'm not making money off this. Let's just make that clear. I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart, and it's been very rewarding. And the reason it's been rewarding is because of the happiness that you can develop within yourself from helping other people. Which throws me into my story here, because some people wonder, you know, how are you 29 years old? How are you such a nice guy? Um, not having a job and stuff, why don't you have a wife and kids and all this stuff? And I'm going to be totally truthful, alright, you guys? I've, I have been a person who has been like lots of people through some very traumatic experiences uh, both in relationships and another uh, a big one was at my work where um, as most people know about me I did security for a very long time uh, bodyguard work close protection retail you know you name it I've pretty much done it and one of my best security positions I've ever had was working at a local business center and surrounding property and unfortunately one day I got called to an overdose situation um, you know expecting it to maybe be like a normal time where we get the Narcan or just have to wake somebody up and you know a life is saved and our day goes on uh, unfortunately this time it was actually my friend who overdosed and he was in the washroom dead for over an hour and I was the first responder there and I don't ever want to do security ever again I don't ever want to have the chance of coming across um, an experience like that ever again. So as you can imagine for the last year or so I've been going to counseling, I've been going to therapy and I've lost my job position where that happiness is continuously coming from within and I'm continually having happiness from helping other people. That's gone. Right? That, that disappeared with the job. Fast forward just a little bit into the Aceto Corsa community and I have that feeling back with you guys. You guys have been able to give me some happiness while playing this game and helping out a lot of you people here. Um, sorry, I can't really think straight right now while I talk about this kind of stuff. It's hard for me. But it's, you know, with you guys being a part of this community and hearing comments you know like oh you saved my life man i could never play this game before or hearing people just so thankful man they can play the game it brings that feeling back that i lost at work you know with my friend there and my job and uh yeah so so now we're here and to me it's huge to uh have that feeling coming back and, you know, getting it through helping people just like I was at work when I had that job. So for, for those of you that, you know, are wondering, hey man, like, why does this guy put so much time out of his life into helping people that he doesn't know on the internet for what appears to be no reason, right? Um, it's not for no reason. And, you know, that's a lot to do with it right there. So that's just me coming out straight up trying to to be a little more personal with you guys and um, you know get that out of my system and talk about it for a minute so yeah that's why uh, that's why we're doing what we're doing man we're over here having a good time with everybody we're building a community we're building a community where there's no judgment it doesn't matter what you've been through it doesn't matter if you're straight or gay or trans or 
you're bipolar or you have autism or something, man. Like, it doesn't matter what you got, all right? We, it doesn't matter. We are here to have a good time with everybody and help people develop themselves and develop relationships with people and develop this family-like community. Uh, so, that's the end of the, the personal stuff there. Um, as far as this server goes, guys, this server here is an 18 car slot server. It is very, very minimal on the specs for the system. Almost everybody should be able to run this, even if you have 8 gigs of RAM. And you'll notice I kind of gapped out the traffic a little bit. So even though there's not much traffic in the server as far as actual cars and slots go, you are going to have a unique two-lane experience while you're playing this. And you're not going to lag, and it's going to be fun, I promise. And it's perfect for low-spec users and a couple friends that just want to get together and have a good time. So if you've paid attention so far to the route that I've taken, I don't know if anybody... If you guys have been paying attention to what turns I've been taking, but what I ended up doing here today was I went out of the back of pits and I took every left turn that I could take, which has now brought me over the bridge and I will be soon approaching the last turn left and it will take me right back to pits. So for those of you that don't drive the two lane much and you don't know the kind of routes and stuff we like to take, two of the main routes that I like to cruise on are leaving pits down the three lane highway and then taking a right turn on every exit after you take the bridge. So you leave pits, you take the bridge exit, and you take every right turn, you end up back at pits. The other way you can go is what I just did where I left pits, I went out the back on the two lane, and I took every single left turn that has now brought me onto the three lane, right back to pits. So at the end of the day, these are two routes that you will see races in. These are two fun driving routes. If you want to take part in the races, anybody can do that. You just got to sign up. I will be getting back on those soon. And remember, everybody, it's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up, and there's two sides to every story. Just because a lot of people are out here trying to make money on this game, and, you know, it's how it is, it doesn't mean that everybody is like that. You guys have a great day, stay gaming, and I hope to see you out there on these streets.